Are you curious about what the best mage gear is in Dungeon Quest? Well, I'm going to be showing you guys what the best gear is that you can currently get that will help you solo pirate nightmare dungeons on hardcore. guys welcome back to another video today i'm playing dungeon quest right now and i'm going to be showing you guys what the best mage gear is to get right now in the game this is a slightly new set that came out with the pirate update and this is pirate nightmare gear it's called godly mage gear this is still the best gear in the game currently and i also do have the staff of the gods right here in my hand this is the best staff in the game and as you guys can see i do have uncommon godly gear i couldn't get epic i tried getting it but it took too long so i just stood with uncommon now as you guys can see the staff of the gods the base damage i got on this drop is 3500 and i haven't upgraded it at all i think this is one of the best drops i've gotten so far and it could be a lot less there's there's different drops it's all rng but i think i got a pretty good drop based on the staff right here it's at 3500 and the health is looking pretty good and the spell power is already at 170 on both of these pieces and it does look like the robe has a little bit more upgrades than the helmet but that's all good and i haven't upgraded these by the way i have 8 million i know this is not going to upgrade everything to max but i still think this is going to upgrade it quite a few levels to get into this new gear here it's, it's not really new, but you know, I, I call it new because I just got it, but <laughs> we're going to go here to upgrade. Let me take off everything right now. We're just going to take these three pieces off and I'm a noob right now. I'm a level 72 noob. Okay, we're going over here to upgrade. I do have two staffs. One is already upgraded 140 out of 339. I was thinking of giving this, this one right here away. So if you guys are interested in a staff of the gods, the best staff in the game, Make sure you guys comment down below with your Roblox username and tell me why you want it. Why you want the staff and I will be picking one of you guys down in the comments to get this amazing staff right here. One last thing, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I will only be picking subscribers and leave a like on this video. We got this clean staff right here and I'm going to start upgrading right here. We're going to upgrade this clean staff of the gods right here first price is 100 and i think we're just going full spell no physical at all I, I i'd like to see somebody put full physical into the staff of gods i mean i think that'd be pretty funny but we're gonna start upgrading this i don't know how high i want to go but we're just gonna start spam clicking and let's see how far we can go with this i think i'm gonna go up to at least like level 100 hopefully we can get up to level 100 i'm not completely sure how much money i have because i do need to upgrade the gear as well so we're slowly going up. This is actually getting really expensive. I think at 100, I might stop. Yeah, it's looking like that at 100. I kind of need to stop. So we got it to 100. I'm going to plan on spending the rest. Now we're going to start on the godly mage helmet. I'm not even sure if I want to go health. I think I want to go more spell power DPS, but I'm not completely sure. So we're just going to start putting in a spell. Let's see if we can go all the way up like 50 levels at least. So we can at least get the robe 50 levels as well and then see where we're at on the money situation okay we're at 50 on the helmet and the spell power is actually looking pretty good so far now we're gonna do the robe we're gonna do the same thing 50 levels and then we're gonna go for 100 levels on the robe and the hat and then spend the rest on the wand we're at 50 now and we have 6.5 million left we got both of them to level 100 so i might as well max this one out max the gear out and then we're gonna put the rest into the wand and now we have max gear so this is what max gear looks like 1264 spell power and 1318 so that's like a good 2500 right there and the health and we're gonna go back to this one right here level 100 and we're just gonna just click this thing until we're out of money we got it to level 155 okay we're going to put on this armor right now so i got this to level 155 and it's already at 5082 spell power that is so much better than my other wand. Like, I got rid of my other wand because I knew I was going to use the Staff of Gods. This is amazing. So, it looks like I have 7,911 health, but I'm going to go over here to my skill and reset my points because I, I kind of want to get some more health. So, we're over here to have 71 points. Let's see. 
I want to get to at least uh, 13,000. 13,000 is pretty good because the pirate boss will one shot me if I don't have 13,000. I think the pirate boss might still, you know, one shot me, but I do need DPS. I really need to put a lot into spell power. I, I don't think I can one shot them with this much stamina. Like, I have 30 stamina. That means, like, I'm not doing as much damage as I could be doing. But with all this gear combined, I think I might be able to solo. So we're going to hop right into a pirate nightmare dungeon. I think I might turn on hardcore and let's see how far we can get in by just soloing it. Okay, we're starting for three, two, one. Let's get an initial look. I think I want to put on some innervate right now to get this going a little bit faster. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to get as much health as I wanted, but I can definitely solo this if i play this safe against the bosses oh my gosh stop trying to shoot me i always run right into their shots like me trying to avoid them doesn't work okay we're gonna see how the pirate boss fights back i'm just gonna go to the right and see if i can survive this yeah okay this is gonna be easy predictions we're gonna get through this easily how much damage do i do i do 140 000? yeah i'm doing around there i'm doing up all the way up to 150 000. Just depending on what I'm doing. But if I if I mainly focus DPS, like if I mainly focus just my spell power, I think I could probably do around 250,000, which after this round, I'm probably going to go full spell power and try it out. Also, if you guys would like to see a video on the warrior, the w new warrior gear, the slightly new, I guess you could say the pirate update warrior gear, the best, the godly warrior gear make sure to leave a comment down below and like this video if you would like to see more content on dungeon quest in general leaving a like lets me know that you guys enjoy this type of content okay so i'm gonna put on a heal real quick just, just gonna heal we're gonna have to wait 14 seconds which kind of sucks but uh at least we're getting some heals right okay we're going in we're going on the spider we're doing 150 damage 150,000 damage Come on, come on. Yes, I didn't die. I almost died there. Like, I was really close to dying. Come on, come on. We can kill it. We can kill it. We can kill it. Yes! I sold the Spider Queen by myself. Okay, now the hard part is going to be outplaying the, the final boss. Because there's one move that the final boss does that's really, really annoying that I can't get past when I solo. It's, it's really hard. I wonder why there's just two random trees in here. Do you guys do you guys ever think why there's just three random trees? I didn't even see that one. And I never even noticed that up there. So there's stuff on the map that I haven't even looked around. Okay, the best thing to do when you're soloing is to pull these guys down. I learned that the hard way. I, I instantly died. Okay, we're gonna have to heal again. I just walk right into those shots. It gets really annoying. But at least these guys do not respawn. Like, they, they don't respawn. Because if they respawn, that, that would kind of suck. And soloing wouldn't be as easy, I guess. If you guys think about it, with my full damage, like, if I go full spell power, I'll be killing these guys two times faster than I am right now. Also, if you guys need help with any pirate, any type of dungeon, actually... Make sure to comment down below and I will help some of you guys out as well as I will be streaming. And when I stream, you know, I like playing Dungeon Quest and helping fans out. So if you guys want to stop by the stream, make sure you guys turn on post notifications by clicking that bell next to the subscribe button. And you guys will be notified when I live stream and I can help you guys level up. So we're fighting the boss right now. Basic attacks. He has 4.8 million health. And the only move I'm afraid of is the teleport move because he does teleport so I'm going to go like that. Okay, I took some damage. Okay, he's going to teleport at some point. Come on, get out of his teleport distance. No, he always damages me on that. I guess I'm just going to keep the heal. Because he can't kill me fully if I keep the heal. So we're just going to heal again. And then we're going to pulse fire without the innervate. And we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him. We killed him. And I, I got an axe and a wand. Greater Prophet Staff and a Devilish Great Axe. That's actually some pretty good loot from soloing it. Okay, guys, so I did end up soloing the dungeon, and I actually successfully did it. If you guys did like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications if you're interested in my channel and my content's interesting towards you. And I'll see you guys later.
Peace. Peace.